I did want to say this one thing. Let me get my drink out of the way. I do want to say this one thing. Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. This is not a trial. This is not, I don't even see it as an attack from the devil. This is God's word. When the Bible says, there's a scripture that says, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. Well, there are times when people have callings on their life or an assignment is on its way to being totally in fruition, uh, to being totally realized, so to speak. What ends up happening is it's almost like, okay, here you have a good running car and you and your family have to make a run but it's a 3,000 mile run and you don't have the money to take all your kids and, you know, your wife or your husband or whatever. You don't have the money for all that. So you have to make an emergency trip, an emergency drive. And what do you have to do? You have to get your car checked. You have to have your oil changed, all the maintenance caught up. You have to get your tires rotated or brand new tires whatever the case may be. So when you're preparing for a trip, there are things that need to be in perfectly working order or else you're going to have a lot of problems on a bumpy road. Hopefully you'll get there unscathed. Well, it's the same thing God does with his messengers or with his servants or Anybody who works for him in the ministry, in any form of ministry, there are times when the Lord says, we need to deal with this because this is going to be a serious issue. And there are times God allows the body to go into something. He allows a crisis in order to bring your attention to something that needs to be dealt with seriously that could be a threat to your life. Everything that's happening to me, you guys, thank God for bringing it to my attention because God could have let me slip away in my sleep. He could have let anything crazy happen, but he has been dealing with things and bringing things out without allowing me to have one heart attack. Think about that. He has not allowed me to have a stroke. Think about that. Anything crazy could have happened with these things going on with the pneumonia, with the congestive heart failure, <clears throat> with the fluid, with the heartbeat going in the AFib. Anything could have happened. Now, I'm not afraid of death because to be absent with you guys is to be present with the Lord. That's cool to me. But my point is it could have been a lot worse a lot more painful, a lot more complicated. So what I see God doing to me is not only healing me, but healing me so that I'll be in better condition and prepared physically by health, being healthy and strong to serve him in the capacity of the assignment he has ahead of me. That's what God is doing. God has been faithful and I give him all the glory because he has protected me every step of the way. And if you could see that, you don't have to hit the panic button every time something goes wrong in your health. You don't have to get angry if you're not in a perfectly working establishment. It's like one of the ladies said, oh, I hate that you ended up at that hospital. I hate that that happened. Well, I needed to be there for the right doctor to get everything lined up so much quicker. I might have been there five or six days while all the strangers were scratching their head trying to figure out what my real problem was. But because there was someone there already familiar with my case. Do you understand what I mean? Think about how God works. All things work together for the good to them that love God and 
are called according to his purpose. And I told I told the lady that said it, I said, sweetheart, I'm not bothered by it. Because as far as I'm concerned, if Jesus, the Son of the Living God, the Messiah himself, can be born in a doggone stable, who am I to complain? No matter where I'm being treated, I am being treated. No matter where, no matter what the surroundings look like or what's not there that should be or whatever, I'm getting better because I'm there. Because God has the right staff working on me and my needs are being met, whether it's on a satin bed of of luxury or whether it's on a cot in the hallway. I'm getting my needs met, you guys. God is healing me. So just keep praying that God will continue to heal me where there will be no other future problems coming up and where I'll be fit for the master's use. In Jesus' name, that's my prayer. Pray for me. God bless you.